What's up, Trojans? Welcome to Trojan TV. Today is October the 6th, 2022. First up, we got an interview of me and Mr. Olivares about the Gay Straight Alliance. All right, my name is Jeremiah Horton, and who am I here with? I am Jorge Olivares. How are you? Good, good. Uh, what do you do here at ECHS? Oh, I teach chemistry here at ECHS. I've been here from the start of the school. Yes. That's what's up. Um, what time do you have the Gay Straight Alliance meetings? The Gay Straight Alliance meets usually on Thursdays after school, but sometimes when there's conflicts, we meet on Fridays after school. Okay, and then what time do they start in? We start around 2.45. We usually have pizza and other things, refreshments we eat, and then, then we start the meeting. So, so then what, do you, uh, what kind of happens in these meetings? You know, it's mostly about support, talking about how the week has been, uh, talking about the issues that uh, pertain to the, to the queer community. Uh, we talk about trans issues. We talk about people who are non-binary, you know, gay, lesbian, you know. It's a place where people can share their experiences, which are different from the ones that uh, straight people in general experience. Having said that, we do have straight members who come and support us every time. It is the Gay Straight Alliance. And with them, they, we just talk about how the week has been, how, how's everything, checking, making sure everybody's doing okay. All right, thanks so much. Next up, we got some highlights from our cross-country meet at Pasadena High School. All right, Trojans, next up we got an interview of Betsaida Lopez and some information on Christ on Campus. My name is Jeremiah Horton, and I'm here with... Betsaida Lopez. All right, Betsaida, um, what is Christ on Campus? So Christ on Campus is basically um, where we come and fellowship together um, and learn about the Bible and the principles of the Bible and how to grow a relationship with God. What made you want to start Christ on Campus? Um, God, there is a time in my life where I was, uh, like, I was a new believer and I went to church. And um, God told me that to start something in school, and so I did. What do y'all talk about in these Christ on Campus meetings? 
So it's whatever, um, you know, the Lord speaks to me to teach on or to preach on. Um, so it's basically like salvation or um, we talk about how to grow a relationship with God or um, different principles in the Bible. All right. Thank you. All right, Trojans, finally, we got an interview of Mr. Horton on some information for the Walk for Sight event. All right, my name is Jeremiah Horton, and who am I here with? Dad. Okay, Dad, uh, what do you do here at South Houston? I'm Joseph Horton, assistant principal here at South Houston High School. All right, can you tell me a little bit about Walk for Sight? All right, Walk for Sight is a family-friendly walk uh, put on by uh, the Lions Club. It is a way to raise money for, uh, the goal this year is to raise $50,000. It goes to uh, eyeglasses for students, to, uh, for many grants, and for uh, wellness, health and wellness programs throughout the district. All right, and then um, where will Walk for Sight be? On uh, what day and what time? Uh, it'll be held at 8 o'clock from 8 to 10 on October 22nd at the uh, Pasadena Veterans Memorial Stadium. They're off of uh, Dab Dabney. You can register at 7.30, but the actual walk starts at 8 o'clock and ends at 10. And how would teachers and students go about uh, registering and donating? If you go to the uh, Walk for Sight website, uh, you can register there. You can donate there. Uh, you, don't have to, you can donate without registering, and you can register and donate. Uh, any any little bit, anything from ten dollars to a thousand dollars will be beneficial. Right now, we're at, as a district, we're at forty thousand dollars, and a, a, the goal is fifty thousand. So we're close. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, Trojans, thanks for watching Trojan TV. We'll see y'all next time. My name is Jeremiah. Make sure y'all like and subscribe so we can hit one thousand subscribers.